Hey all, it's Abby, and today I have my, I guess this is July gotcha crate, and I know I just uploaded a gotcha crate, but I realized that they send me these boxes before they send out to everyone else, or before the deadline, I guess I should say. So, if you see my box, it will be a spoiler, but if you want to order the same one, I believe you can. So, I am going to open this up, and if you hear background noises, that is my new puppy. And, you know, puppies, puppy's gonna do what puppy wants, so enjoy the puppy noises. Ja -ja! Okay, so, yep, July 2021, and I have been seeing a few previews here and there on their Instagram and stuff, so I think there's some fun stuff in here. And as always, I have a coupon code down below for first time users. I believe you get $3 off your first Gotcha Crate or Inku Crate. I don't know where to dive in. Let's grab this one because this looks really interesting. I think it's a little vending machine. And don't worry, puppy reveal coming soon. I actually have been posting photos on my Discord for the members and Twitch sub channel, which is, you know, a little bit more private because I'm still working on a introduction video, I guess puppy and it'll be up on Studio Lorian and I'm thinking sorry I'm talking a lot I know but I kind of want to dive into more vlogish type videos on this channel what do you guys think would you be interested in that It'd be you know a little bit of toys little bits of stationery and then maybe some maybe a little bit of cooking a little bit of puppy and L too of course but a little more kind of daily life rather than just let me open this toy today I haven't decided yet but let me know what you think I would love to hear your feedback I don't know what all these little pieces are, but it is a vending machine. Oh, there are little tongs. Is this to set it up? Does this actually work? Okay, so this open and it's for the little flap here. Okay, so stuff doesn't actually fall down. You can push the buttons though. And this opens, can you stock the shelves? No, this is all stuck in there. Interesting. Now what is this little piece? I think it's, it goes on top. It would be cute to have a little lineup of these. You could have a little shop front. Another reason why I wanted to kind of do more vlog style videos is because I have been putting off, oh, there are more drinks in here. I have been putting off organizing my toy room for years since we moved in. And it's been, it's been a decent amount of years. I mean, we, else. Three, two, and we moved in a year before we got L. So we've been living here quite a while. And my toy room is basically just a storage room right now. And I would like to get it all cleaned up and camera worthy, I guess. So I thought that could be a fun project. Oh no, did I just break this? No, for us to work on together. But, oh, I did break it, no. The little arm on this side. Okay, be very gentle when you're putting this on. I'll, I'll glue this side down. Boo, I didn't mean to do that. And then I think we can use these little tongs to put the drinks in. Oh, these are tiny little juice boxes. Okay, definitely not meant for children under the age of whatever age children inhale these toys at. Oh, this is actually really hard. There is a slot for them here. Oh no, it fell. Where'd it go? There has to be a better way to stock this. Probably also doesn't help that I'm at this kind of weird angle trying to show the camera. Also, these tweezers aren't that great. I think if I had my like crafty tweezers with the fine needle tips or whatever, it'd be better. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this, but it's a cute little vending machine and I may just glue the little pieces down or have them separate and have like my... Oh, it says gummies, they're not drinks. Oh, that's cute, it's a little candy vending machine. Oh yeah, so fruit gummies, stick snacks, uh, energy drinks, snacks, and fancy chocolate. Okay, so there's five different ones. I actually wouldn't mind having a full set of these. That'd be cute. I approve. Let's open the next one. I'm trying to peek, but I can't see much. Let's peel this tape off. Jam. Oh. Oh, it's a cable burb. It's a hug cut. 
Last month we had the Digimon ones. This month it is Kodo no Tori san. Birds on a cord. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different burbs. And which one is this? It's hard to tell because it's black and white and I do not know my burbs. Shima Enaga san. Maybe? Oh, puppy, puppy. Elle actually decided to leave the room because she needed a break from puppy. And so he is lonely right now. But here is cable burb. You can see there's a little slit here so it sits on your cable. That's cute. I usually don't put these on my cables because I feel like I lose them left and right. I had one on my charger, you know, they had the little chompy ones. I really liked those, but kept getting in the way. But this one can probably live on my desk. I have a few on my computer monitor, the perching ones, so I may use some double-sided tape and put this one there. Next one. Oh, this looks like a sea otter. Oh, it's a money mall. I remember when these came out, it was like squishy fame, not fame, popularity trend prime. And these were like the new squishies. Are squishies still popular? I feel like they came and went a few times. I feel like I collected them when they came back the second time in 2011, 12-ish. And then a few years ago they came back. But I feel like they were much easier to access them. When I first started YouTube, they were super rare. So here I have a little sea otter. And for those of you that don't know Money Malls, these are amazing. I believe these are handcrafted, I think. I read that on their site once. It's just a, it's a soft silicone, like the puni gel. And they're not sticky. I think they have like, I don't know, some kind of powder or something on them to make it not sticky. And I wouldn't pull them too much. I feel like it would tear, but and it's, it's a soft gummy. They feel really, really nice. Again, this box is probably not great for younger kids and definitely not dogs. I feel like my dog would rip this to shreds and probably inhale it. We'll put it back in the case. Here is a, ooh, it's like a little toy set. Ta -da! Is this like one of those little fishing games? Oh, it is. Like a summer festival game. Oh, 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 more tiny pieces. Oh no, and I have to put this together myself? Hold on, let me figure this out. Oh, they're turtles! Oh, I guess it spins around, let me. Does this attach? I got it. And then, can, I think you're probably supposed to put water in here. Oop, turtle down. And you'll see these at summer festivals a lot. And you can fish them out. Cute. This would be a cute little prop for a little Matsuri diorama. Okay, here we have Momoya, which is a famous, I wanna say like preserve, canned food, jarred food company. I don't know what all they make, but they make this really nice seaweed, gohan desu yo to eat with your rice or anything really. And that's probably my favorite. But I'm guessing this is a little pouch. Here we go. Oh, oh, is this zasai? It's a type of pickled root. I don't know what zasai is. I guess you could keep like a water bottle in here. What would you put in here, guys? It's, it doesn't have a zipper or anything, so I don't think it'd be a good pen case. That's interesting size. Momoya no zasai. These are actually pretty yummy too. I like their pickled bamboo. Ooh, look at all the different ones. Okay, so they're little pouches. Oh, it says perfect for a little shopping trip at the kombini. So like if you're gonna get an onigiri or sandwich or some snacks, I guess. So gohan desu yo, menma. This menma is really good, the bamboo shoots. Oh, they make kimchi base too. I use this a lot for kimchi hot pots. I didn't know that was theirs. And edible rayu, which is like chili oil, and it has little bits in it, it's really good. And garlic, I guess they used all their most popular products because I have definitely purchased all of these. It says, please don't put items heavier than a kilogram in here. 
I guess it's not that sturdy. Okay, and our last one. Now this one I have been seeing on their social media and it is adorable. Morepeco! We got a, wow, I can't think of their English name. Uh, Morepeco last time too. It was a little keychain, I believe. And here we have the inner tube. Let me pull this out. I have a confession. I actually have a full set of these that I bought a while back and I've been meaning to do a video, but have not gotten around to it. So you're seeing it here first. How adorable, it's so perfect for summer. So a little moto pickle on an inner tube. And let's see, where did the checklist go? The whole lineup is adorable. You guys will see why I needed the full set. Ja -ja! So there's a moto pickle, meson, uh, sobble, hibani, score bunny. Wow, I can't even think of the starters names. And Pikachu. They are cute and they're all different colored inner tubes. It's really cute as a set. Again, I wanted to make a cute little beachy diorama with these. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna try my best. I wanna do more crafty things with my toys and make them into videos for you guys and myself. So if you would be interested in that, let me know because I will do my best. Anyway, got a bunch of toys today, I feel like. This vending machine is so cool. It's probably one of my favorites from today. Let me know which one you guys like best and let's take a peek in here. Cable, sitting birds, moni moni mochi animals, uh, festival fishing game, jar tote bags, vending machines, and Pokemon swimming figures. Very fun lineup, very summery. That was it for today. I'll be back next month with a new one, I'm sure. Oh, speaking of Japanese vending machines, this is kind of how we grew on YouTube originally. Um, we have a whole playlist over on Studio Lorian if you do want to see them. A lot of them are actually gone now because they were old when we filmed them and now they're even older now. Like these hot snack ones, they're discontinuing those, which is a bummer because these are actually pretty good. But yeah, I'll leave the playlist linked down below. It would mean a lot if you guys would check it out because our other channel's not very active right now. Another thing I'm working on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Gacha Gacha Crate or Japan Crate for sending this to me and letting me check it out. And I will see you all next time.